Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you find and complete all 152 shrines in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So stay tuned, click that like button, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll be right back. Let's do this. Hello everyone and welcome back. So in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom there is a grand total of 152 shrines that have to be found and completed. Now I have completed 151 of those shrines and I am at the last shrine in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and I am super excited to find out what happens. I literally have no idea what's going to happen as I have avoided all spoilers for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom so far. So let's do a little recap here. We are on the surface right now. I am at the mini tax shrine up on the northern portion of Hyrule. So as you can see here, I have found every single shrine on the surface. There is a total of 120 shrines on the surface and 32 shrines in the sky. So the, for a grand total of 152 shrines. Now, some of the shrines are super easy to find. They're sitting on the surface. They're easily visible. Same goes for the sky. Others, not so much. They're buried in caves like this one, hidden. Throughout the underground areas of the surface of Hyrule and up in the sky, they are inside of the spears, um, inside of holes in the islands, stuff like that. So you really have to search for some of them. Um, some of the shrines have actual challenges. Others just have what's called Raru's Blessing, where they just give you a uh, medallion for finding the shrine because the task of finding the shrine was more complicated. So let's go ahead here and enter the last shrine and we'll see what happens. So this, like I said, is the min Tak Shrine here, right north of Typho Ruin Skyview Tower. Now, for me, this just happens to be the last shrine that I found, but this can apply to any shrine that you find is the last one. There is no real order to finding the shrines. It just happens to be one that uh, I did not get. So this is it. So let's go ahead inside here and find out what's going to happen. So our fast travel pad has been activated. And we're going into the Mintok Shrine. Just north of the Lost Woods and the Great Deku Tree. Okay, so this is Raru's Blessing. So this is a nice easy one here. Raru's Blessings are located in various shrines throughout the surface and the sky of Hyrule. And like I said, they are literally just, they give you a treasure and you get to collect your reward for finding and getting into the shrine. So this is it. We have found all 152 shrines in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We see statues of Raru and Sonya. And when you receive the medallion, gloom comes out of your arm. We have received another light of blessing. So now I still have eight life of blessings. This is the final light of blessing. 
Make your way to the Temple of Time. There you shall find a suitable reward for your efforts. The Shrine Explorer side quest has been started. Okay, so we have completed and found all 152 shrines. I'm going to go ahead and move my travel medallion here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to Lookout Landing. Because I want to just trade in my hearts for my, uh, sorry, my light medallions for more hearts. Now, I like to do this in Lookout Landing. Uh, you can do it in any of the villages that have a statue you can pray to. You can also do it in the Temple of Time. But I like Lookout Landing. I'm going even though I'm going to the Temple of Time anyway. Lookout Landing has just basically become my you know base of operations. Cause I can cook and do everything I need to do right down inside the emergency shelter right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and look for the goddess statue. And if we give this goddess statue four light of blessings, we will get an additional heart container. So I'm going to go ahead and do this twice. And this will basically max out my heart containers. My stamina is already maxed out. Heart container, a rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. So I have one more here to get. So I have gotten basically as many hearts as I'm going to get. I have completed and found all 152 shrines. So now, the next thing we want to do is fast travel back to the Temple of Time up in the sky. So we need to go to the Great Sky Island. I'm going to use the Yuka Shrine as a fast travel point. As you can see, I've completed 152 shrines, if you look on the right, and I have no Light of Blessings left. Okay, so the Yuka Shrine. Just looking around here, there is the Temple of Time. So let's go ahead here and glide on over. So the easiest way to get to the Temple of Time is just to ascend up through the uh, pillar here. And we'll left to this damaged bridge. And we'll have some fun here and just take out this construct. And let's go inside the Temple of Time and see what our reward is. So, I don't see anything here. So, let's go ahead and go up here. Now, to do this, you need to use Rewind. Or Recall. And then jump onto... And then we'll do the same thing here. And as it rewinds, we can climb up. So it shows us here that our hearts and vigor 
is as high as they're going to get. And they tell us to seek to deepen your bonds with the sages. Go and search the ruins scattered around the world. When you have collected four of an item called Sage's Will, visit me again. So that is super important. I have two of the Sage's Will. And it looks like here is our present. Let's see what we get. The Ancient Hero's Aspect. This item is said to contain the spirit of a hero who once saved Hyrule. That hero's aura will envelop the wearer. Awesome. So let's go ahead here and check it out. Ancient Hero's Aspect. So this is a full outfit consisting of the headset, the armor, and the greaves. The uh, defense is a little weak. And this is the ancient hero's aspect. This item is said to contain the spirit of a hero who once saved Hyrule. That hero's aura will envelop the wearer. Pretty cool here. I like it a lot. I like the red hair. I got my Hylian shield and my master sword. It's pretty cool. Really nice armor. It's an awesome reward for finding and completing 152 shrines in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so to recap, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has 152 shrines, 120 of which are located on the surface of Hyrule, either on the land or in caves throughout the entire continent. You need to find every single one of these. The sky, there are 32 shrines located on the floating sky islands as you can see here four of which are on the great sky island the rest are scattered all around and you need to do a lot of flying to get to these so that's it i hope everybody enjoyed this video if anyone needs any help finding a particular shrine please just drop a comment to this video and i will definitely help you out as always, if you could please click that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure you enable notifications. I want to have more new and exciting content coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I will see you around. Keep on gaming.